Today is Friday, December 18th, 2015. My name is Brian McInerney. I'm the hydrologist here with the National Weather Service located in Salt Lake City, Utah. We've got winter storms on the way. What we're seeing here are the winds at about 11,500. It's a rendition. And this feature right here is the low pressure that's out over the Pacific as of Friday. And that's anticipated to move into Utah on Saturday. And then as that goes by, we're going to have a straight westerly flow for most of next week. And that westerly flow has a lot of dynamics, a lot of moisture, and it's going to snow mostly in northern Utah, in the northern Wasatch, a little bit more on the Uintas, a little bit more on the front side of, of the Wasatch. And then probably the area that's going to get the least is the back side of the Wasatch, unfortunately. Let's start with northern Utah. They're going to see the most snow with this flow as it's kind of a northwesterly flow um, and direct west as the as the week goes on. We're looking at Snow Basin, Powder Mountain. Snow totals of 24 to 36 inches with snow water equivalent of 2.0 to 2.8. Storm begins Saturday evening and it's going to go all the way through. Kind of a messy event. It's going to have maybe Thursday will knock off a little bit, but we'll have some type of activity moving in or moving through the area for the entire week. The greatest snow intensity during this, this event, though, the week-long event, is most likely on Tuesday evening at 2 inches per hour. It's going to go down to the very valley floors, and it's increasing snow densities really throughout this entire event, but there's going to be variable uh, snow densities as it progresses. When we look at Mount Ogden, we're going to see the front go through. We're going to see gusts up to 60 miles an hour out of the southwest. Then winds kind of veer around west, west, northwest, northwest. And then on Thursday and Friday, it's going to pick up again with gusts up to 65 miles an hour and sustained at about 55. But the flow is going to be out of the southwest at that point. Um, so we're going to get some wind loading in different areas. Now when we switch to the central Wasatch on the front side, and these areas we look at are Alta, Snowbird, Brighton, and Solitude. Snow totals are about 15 to 25 inches. Snow water equivalent is 1.4 to 2.2 inches. It's going to start Saturday night. It's going to go all the way through the week in varying stages uh, during this time. Probably Thursday will be, we won't see much of anything. But then the greatest snow intensity will be Tuesday night with 2 inches per hour down to the valley floors. It's going to be increasing density as, as some of these little wiggles that come through with that westerly flow uh, is going to be warmer. So we're going to see a little bit higher density snow, but nothing too terrible. When we look at the winds, what we see on Mount Baldy is Tuesday has the highest winds past the frontal passage uh, with gusts up to 70 miles an hour, 50 mile an hour sustained out of the northwest on Tuesday. We'll see some wind loading there. And then Wednesday, Thursday, it knocks off, and then it picks up again Thursday night into Friday really out of the southwest as that low finally does move through it later in the week and we move out of that westerly flow. When we look at the central Wasatch backside, this is the area that's going to receive the least amount of snow and, and typically that's what we see with northwest flow or direct westerly flow where most of the energy is in northern Utah. Snow totals only 8 to 15 inches. Unfortunately, snow water equivalent at 6 tenths to an inch. It's going to start Saturday night Really, the storm Saturday night is going to be hardly anything, maybe an inch to two inches that night for the, really the front side of the central Wasatch and the back side of the central Wasatch. It's going to be more like Monday night in earnest, but we're kind of splitting hairs here on when do we start this storm, when do we end it. And it's going to go all the way through the week with a break probably on Thursday and then into Saturday morning. The greatest snow intensity for this part of the Wasatch most likely will be Friday morning at an inch per hour. It's going to be cold enough down to the valley floors. And again, we're going to see increasing density, but that's going to change a little bit. And the areas we're talking about here are the canyons. Uh, actually, the canyons do maybe a little bit better than Park City, Deer Valley, and Sundance, but we'll have to kind of wait and see on that. Jupiter Peak, we'll see uh, frontal passage gusts up to 70 miles an hour out of the southwest on Saturday and then we're going to see northwest uh, winds all the way through Wednesday till they start veering on Thursday out of the west. They'll pick up to probably 55 miles an hour and then drop back a little bit with still the winds at on the southwest. The U.N. is though, that's a bit of an improvement when you look at snow totals. 
12 to 20 inches with water content of 1.0 to 1.7. It's going to start Saturday night and a week later, Saturday afternoon. The greatest snow intensity will probably be Tuesday evening at 1.5 to 2 inches per hour during that time. It's going to get onto the valley floors or it's cold enough. And again, uh, increasing snow densities. And it's going to be variable depending on where your winds are. It's going to start out of the southwest with winds about 65 miles an hour gusting during that time on Saturday. We'll see it veer to the west, west, southwest, west. And then we're going to go to the northwest on Wednesday. And then the winds are going to pick up out of the southwest as the low moves through at about 65 miles an hour gusting out of the southwest and then the south on Friday. So there you have it. This system is a little messy. Uh, it's a very good active pattern. Uh, you can find us on Facebook. You can find us on Twitter. You can send me an email. And again, please check the Utah Avalanche Center. This storm is going to bring dense snow, and we're on a weak layer, and there will be some issues in the backcountry. So please consult Utah Avalanche Center. All sorts of good stuff.